Tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! No! Oh, yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. <laughs> Yeah! I've almost <laughs> got it! It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can! A pirate never leaves his crew behind! Yow! Or his tail! Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the midnight zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting, sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, dashy, peso, let's go. Captain, there's a field of geezers at the bottom of that trench. Those geysers could be dangerous. They're like volcanoes, except when they erupt, they send up explosions of water and steam. Understood. Quasi, come in, Quasi. Woohoo! This is amazing! Wow, it's fantastic! This creature is huge! Ah, oh, it's longer than a blue whale! Quasi! Watch out for... Hi, Captain. We've caught up with the giant siphonophore. Siphonophore. I was close. Quasi, you're heading straight for a field of geezers. There's peas in the freezer. Quasi, Dashy, come in! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, Quasi and Dashy are in danger. We're going after them. Peso, Shellington, into the gup sea. Aye, 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 Captain. Tweak, open the Octo Hatch. You got it, yeah. Oh, you mustn't 
believe yet we haven't been properly introduced. You're that giant siphonophore! We are the giant siphonophore! Uh, we look like one big creature, but we're actually a group of smaller creatures. We work together, see? Each of us has a special job to do. Some of us can light up. Once you follow our lights and get close enough, then... We do our jobs. We get our hooks in your seat. And then we use our powerful stingers to sting you. Like this. What's wrong? What's the problem? What's stinging? What's talking? Our deep sea suits are too thick for their stingers to get through. Ha ha! You can't sting us, you scurvy beasties! Bah! This is shocking! Our plan is perfect! Lights, hooks, stingers, dinner! Well, you won't be having us for dinner, you giant side-foodophore! Siphonophore! That's what I said! Another oh, geezer. geezer! You've got to let us go and move away from here! Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashie? Already on it, Captain. <laughs> This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot! I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there! It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh, lost it. Oh no. It's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof dive suits. These will protect you from the heat. And the Octo Goggles will help you see Frank! If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. <gasps> that doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! I thought the whole cave was going to collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, was it? Oh, yeah. These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! Not there. Oh no. Basil! Buddy! Over here! Frank! Are you alright? We're here to rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And LaFord. Hello. And that's old Pops. Oh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> no. But don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashie. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. No, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? <gasps> Run for your lives! Sure thing, man. No problem. We're happy to go with that flow. Everybody climb onto a gup and we'll drive you down to the octopod. Here we come. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. They're moving very slowly. Oi, how do they ever catch any fish to eat? Fish? 
No way, man. We're vegetarians. We only eat plants. We never have to chase after our food, so we like to do things nice and easy. <sighs> Come in, Captain. Go ahead, Quasi. This is going to be trickier than we thought. The manatees are really slow. And they're a little disorganized. Well, you've got to get them organized. Line the manatees up and get them onto the gups one by one. I've got to go. I'm sure I saw something shiny around here. Shiny, shiny, shiny. The lightning's getting closer. We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub D with Dashie. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. Hi. Climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. Don't worry. We'll be right back. Come on, mateys. To the octopod. Shiny. 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 Whoa! Uh-oh. Shiny thing! Looks like there's only one way out of this. <laughs> Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work! Ah, peso! The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear. Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know. It's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? <sighs> yes! It is! No! I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface and call me when you get there. And he might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod, Cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashi, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain, it's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashi, activate steering wheel. This heat is 
slithering me whiskers. How's our patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. He just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. Oh. 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 The beast is going to damage the ship, Captain. Captain, you're just in time. The meteor shower is just starting. There's one. Look. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. <gasps> oh, wow. Erskamuta. That's a meteor tunip. A meteor is a piece of rock flying through space. When lots of them are in the sky at once, like tonight, it's called a meteor shower. <laughs> Whoa, that one looks like it might be heading this way. Hmm. Occasionally, a meteor will fall to the Earth. Some, well, most in fact, land right in the ocean. Hmm. Then we'd better move the octopod just to be on the safe side. Dashy. Already on it, Captain. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. We're coming in. You got it, Cap. This looks interesting. Whoa! Come in, Dashy. What's going on in there? Oh, we're falling fast, Captain. Something's wrong with the Octopod's engines. They've completely shut down. Then we'll have to prepare for a crash landing. Octonauts, hold on. Octopod. If I extend and lock the pod arms, it just might wedge us in. Go for it. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Yes, Captain. Safe and sound. <laughs> Captain, you're not going to believe this. What is it, Dashy? It's the meteor tracker, Captain. The meteor quasi saw is about to crash into the ocean, and it's heading straight for us. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a meteor heading our way, and the octopod is stuck. I'll get to work on the engine, Cap. Dashy, how much time do we have? Not long, Captain. In just a few minutes, the meteor will hit the ocean, and then the octopod. <laughs> then we'll have to find some way to move the octopod. I think I found the problem, Cap. Looks like something took a chunk right out of the engine. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunch. Huh? Tweet, what was that noise? 